Hello, I'm gonna show you how I have set up pan and tilt on my FPV Easy Star. I don't have a head tracker, so I use uh, the left stick for the camera instead. Well, first I'm gonna show you how I control the plane. I use mode 2 on my uh, transmitter. Well, the right stick is to the control surfaces. The rudder and the elevator, that's why I steer the plane. The rudder is connected to the aileron channel on the receiver because it's just a three channel plane. And the elevator is connected to the elevator, that's that stick. And then I have the left stick and that. Up and down is normal, it's shorter. So, throttle with that. But when I move it side to side, I control the panning of the camera. The panning is controlled and when I up to the throttle. But if I want to tilt the camera, I switch throttle hold. Now, when I take it up and down, I control the tilt of the camera instead of the throttle. So, now when I glide, I can look down on stuff from every side. I can look on my wings and just have a nice time. But let's, let's say you fly and you want to have uh, some speed. You are flying low and you don't want to... You want to control the throttle the same time as you control the camera. Then I have a mode called stunt mode. And uh, that gives me control over the camera. At the same time I have a throttle but not control over the throttle. But I have a preset throttle. I have... I like 25% throttle and control over that. So it's always, when I have stunt mode, it's always 25% throttle and I control the camera like in throttle hold mode. And this is that. Now I control the camera with this stick plus I have some throttle. So when I fly FPV I have three modes. One mode is normal mode, then the camera is not tilted at all, it's in a preset position. So when I fly with, uh, I control throttle manually, the camera always uh, is tilted at one position. And then I have throttle hold mode, that means I control the camera but there is no throttle at all. And then the stunt mode. That means I have 25% throttle all the time and I control the camera with my left stick. And now I'm gonna show you the curves, pitch curves and the throttle curves to make this happen. Alright, first I'm gonna explain you what pitch is. And throttle you already know, throttle is the speed of a motor and on a helicopter Throttle controls the speed of the motor, and on this helicopter is called fixed pitch. That means when I increase the throttle, the helicopter flies up, and when I decrease the throttle, the helicopter goes down. However, the the more advanced helicopter are called collective pitch. That means the motor doesn't control up and down of the helicopter. You can speed the motor really fast and the helicopter still stays on the ground. Uh, the up and down of the helicopter is controlled by pitch instead and that is the angle of the blades. So you can, uh, can uh, have the motor running on a constant speed and use the pitch of the blades to fly up and down. But what you tend to do is to set different uh, throttle curves that when the throttle is on a certain level then the pitch uh, goes uh, up and that. 
and it can even go the other way so the helicopter can fly upside down. Well, I'm gonna show you how I use helicopter mode to set the curves to use the pan and tilt on the FPV Easy Star. Alright, here is how I have set up the curves for my FPV Easy Star. This is normal mode. That's when I fly when I start. And this is stunt mode. And this is hold mode. Let's start with the normal mode and the throttle curve. And this is the stick position. The stick position means 0% means it's over here. 100% means there. And throttle curve and 0 to 100 is the throttle it represents. So if I set uh, the stick in the middle, it means it's here, and what's over here, it's the 50% on the no on the throttle. So if I put it in the middle, that means uh, I have 50% throttle, and if I put it up, you follow the curve there, and then it means it's 100% throttle. And with that, I also control the pitch curve, and. Uh, the pitch curve in this case is not a helicopter blade, it's the uh, tilt of the camera. And in normal mode, the camera doesn't tilt at all, it stays at 33%. And 33% I have chosen because that's uh, perfect to have the camera. You see a little bit of the nose and you have good vision there, so even if I mode the stick up and down. The curve always stays at 33%. That means the camera do not move at all. Up and down. And here is a picture illustrating. The camera always stays at uh, 33% because the entire curve is 33%. And the motor is 0 to 100 depending on how much uh, stick you have. And uh, in throttle hold mode, when I put on throttle hold mode, the entire throttle curve is 0%. That means no throttle at all. The plane is just gliding. And if you look at the pitch curve, the camera up and down, you see that the curve is from 0 to 100%. That means when it's uh, the stick is uh, down, the camera, then I control the camera with the stick. You know, when it's up, the camera's pointing down, and down, the camera's pointing up. And if you see here, I only control the camera from zero to hundred percent, and the motor is is always on zero percent in this mode. And then I have a mode, uh, another mode called stunt mode. I have set the throttle to throttle curve to 25%, and that means when I have a stunt mode, the throttle is always 25%. The motor is always running at 25%. That's very good if you fly around at the same time you looking down, and like if you don't have enough altitude to glide or. Or want to have motor while panning and tilting the camera, and the pitch of the ca camera is the same as whole mold. You control the entire uh, camera up and down with the stick. And here is the illustration of that camera up down. The motor always 25%. So that's how I control my FPV uh, Easy Star pan and tilt. I have a DX6i, but it's similar on other advanced uh, transmitters. You have different points in the curves. You, you set the curves, but you set them like this, and it'd be very good. Yeah, I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day, and have a nice flight.